Hey, Twin Flames out there. Um, Lisa here. I wanted to talk about a question that came up. What if my Twin Flame has an addiction? And uh, this is a question generated by one of you in the comments in one of my previous videos. I'm getting around to it now. Thank you for your question. Um, but uh, before I start, I just wanted to say, like, I'm, I'm in a car. I'm not driving. I am not driving. I'm, like, stationary. See? I'm not moving. Um, but it's hot. <laughs> it's hot here in North Carolina. So I've got the air conditioning on, and um, I'm just kind of enjoying it. But you might hear my car's motor. But let me, let me do this. Hang on. I'm going to do my car's motor real quick. Hang on. I love this. You ready? Can you hear it? Okay, here it goes. I like that. That's me and Josh's Camaro. Um, Hello. Okay. So, yeah, we, we have a Camaro together. We have um, a Camaro and a Jeep. Uh, together, we both own those. It was one of the things that we first partnered in in our relationship. Um, but but this video is not about cars, but about addiction. And so why, why may I start talking about my car doing a video about addiction, but I'm going to be fast forwarding and talking about that at the end of this video and how it relates. So, um, I met Josh about a year and a half ago, two years. Wow. It's been two years. And, um, I, I've always been kind of straight edge. Like I've dabbled in, in some things like I have smoked pot before. Um, I have drank alcohol before, but I never liked using substances to get what they call like shit faced or like get really high or drunk or lose control of myself and, and escape. Like I never liked to use, um, drugs to escape. And, um, I know that Josh really like was on the opposite end of that spectrum, let's say. And, um, it seemed like we were opposites there. We, we didn't seem to match up on the outside. Um, so what if your, what if your twin has an addiction? So an addiction can be anything, right? Your, an addiction can be to a substance. We typically associate it with, with uh, drugs, right? Alcohol and drugs. Um, there are certain qualities that an addict to someone, someone who has addiction to alcohol and drugs does possess that someone that doesn't have that addiction to that particular substance doesn't necessarily possess. But I'll tell you that you and your twin flame are one at the core. This means that you share the same soul blueprint you have the same core values at the core and you have the same blocks, the same spiritual blocks. So if your twin flame has an addiction, if your twin flame uses substances to, um, like a common reason people start using substances is to numb out, to escape from the bad feeling, right? To escape from whatever it is that you're facing in your reality. Um, that's why people start using. That's one of the reasons. Another is like peer pressure to fit in. But a big one is to escape. Once you start using substances to escape, you realize that you don't feel good unless you unless you use them. Like you don't feel normal unless you're using a substance. Um, I have. I I want to advise you that if your twin flame is using a substance and can't. Um, doesn't seem to be able to stop to have compassion for them where they're not able to feel normal unless they use this substance. They don't, they don't feel like they can, um, heal, um, using, you know, by just stopping because it's like the pain is excruciating. Like the withdrawal symptoms are excruciating. The, it's not just physical withdrawal symptoms. It's, um, if you are using a substance and you're using it to numb out and to not feel your feelings, you're going to have emotional withdrawal symptoms as well. We're like, Oh my God, suddenly I'm feeling shit that I've been holding in because I've been escaping. Right? So just have compassion for them. You cannot control what someone else does, but you can do this. This is the meat of the meat of my video. And that is you can heal yourself. They're reflecting. Now this is, I just want to pause here and just like, hope that you're listening to this. If this is your true twin flame, and chances are it is, don't try to like escape it by saying, well, that's probably not my twin flame. I don't have to heal this. It doesn't matter. Just heal it anyway because you've got it. They're showing a part of you to yourself where you're choosing to numb out and escape your feelings. And you're probably sitting there like, I feel a lot. 
I feel, oh boy, what are you talking about? I'm not numb. Right. But let me go deeper here. So being numb has a few different categories. You can be numb, like superficial, la la land, like da da da. No, it's okay that it's raining. It's okay. I stepped in dog poop. Oh, like that's what everybody thinks of when you think of um, numbing out. Another quality of numbing out, a little, little deeper, is anger. Anger is a form of numbing out. When you get angry at your twin flame or whoever for using substances, when you're like, gosh, I wish I wouldn't use substances. That's terrible. They spent so much money. They spent all our money. Blah, 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 blah. You know, whatever it is, when you're leaving your own heart, like you're, you're there's like layers of your emotion, right? Like you go under that like superficial, superficial numbness, go into anger. That's still a form of numbness because you're, you're choosing to get wrapped up in the story of why you're so pissed off at them to begin with and you're numbing out to how you really feel how you really feel is under that anger so that is your version of their addiction if you this is your twin flame and even if it's not heal what it's bringing up for you because you can only um, reveal and and go deeper with your twin flame if you're choosing to heal what god is putting in front of you right now to heal to face right to face these things and give them love. So go underneath that anger and find that part of you that feels bad, like the one that feels sad or defeated or just hopeless. And then love that part of yourself with the mirror exercise. Use the mirror exercise to love that part of you underneath that's that's numbing out to anger. That is the mirror. If this is your twin flame and they have a substance abuse issue, the mirror is you have an addiction to the drama of their addiction. And you can actually see this reflected in a lot of, um, codependent, uh, support groups. Uh, Melody Beattie wrote a book called Codependent No More. Um, there's all sorts of groups for codependence. If you're in a relationship with someone who has a codependence with a substance, you are also, you've got to heal this codependence within you because this part of you that wants to control, that can't accept what they're doing, that's the addiction. That's your part of the addiction. And it's okay, right? Have compassion for yourself too, just as you're having compassion for them. You don't need to feed their addiction. You don't need to be mean to them or try to control their addiction. You cannot. Um, you can only clean your side of the street. You can only go into your heart. Use the mirror exercise and heal. Um, and one thing that I wanted to talk about, I'm back to the car, right? So when Josh and I bought this car, like we had, um, it looked like we could afford it. Like we, we really wanted this. This is a 2019 Camaro SS, like really nice car, beautiful engine. Um, we didn't know that we had, um, these kind of lapses in our, um, consciousness where we, we, we didn't know how to manage our money properly. Like we did, but it, it wasn't, um, fully developed. Like it wasn't, completely grounded in a foundation of, of God, of love. And one of the places where we were numbing out is through, um, you know, seeing like on a superficial level, seeing that we had money and feeling like we could afford things. Well, we both changed our careers after we bought the car. He ended up making a lot less money, but doing something he liked better. And I made less money to begin with, but now I'm making what I did when I first quit my day job. That's a whole other topic. If you want to talk to me about life purpose stuff, I can help you there. Um, but I, but I really wanted to share the story because it's, you might not relate it to, to addictive, you know, addictions to substances, but it's addictions are all rooted. Everything about addictions are rooted in a place where you're unwilling or, or unable or don't know to love yourself. It's a place where you feel separate from God. And so you reach externally to try to get something to replace that, that hole in your heart or that gap. And, um, when we bought our cars, I think it was like overextending ourselves from that place. It wasn't horrible, but it, it was this numbness, right? This place where you're not, um, bringing light, not bringing awareness and love and not being clear. Now we it was a beautiful gift. Like nothing is broken and nothing is wrong. No, there's no regrets because everything can be healed, right? This was an experience, a learning experience for us to know how to really grow our wealth. Like, Ooh, like we, we might have to trade this in, which is fine. 
Um, but it, it's just learning, right? Like eventually what we really, really wanted was a Tesla. Like it, it was a learning experience for us to not settle, right? Like to not, to, to wait and not wait like, oh, I'm waiting forever, but to go with God in a process and steps and, and heal, um, step by step with God. And so it's okay. Like we learned, right. But I just wanted to share that because, you know, any, there's any, anything that is taking the place of, um, really giving yourself, really loving yourself in your heart is an addiction. So don't judge your twin flames addiction and think that that's nothing to do with you, that you don't have any sort of form of addiction. Because if they do, you do, right? You just have to find it. And it's not the end of the world. You give yourself love and you love yourself there. And then you keep doing that over and over again until it doesn't matter. Like, whatever they're doing, it doesn't matter. Like, it, it's you're going to feel so good. And this is twin flame magic, although it's actually just truth. Your twin flame will will make the choices that you're making. When you choose to stop being addicted to the drama that they're, they're causing, you will also heal that like your whole union will, will heal. You'll see the results. Um, if, if you, you know, want to know whether this person is your twin flame or not, do the work, do the inner work and heal and keep healing, keep healing, keep healing until you feel absolutely better. And nothing, nothing can touch you because you're so connected to God if this person sticks around and obviously starts to transform with you, they're your twin flame, right? But only because you've done the inner work first. Oh, not first, but like you do it simultaneously, right? Because you're twins, you're, you're one consciousness. If you keep healing and healing and healing and healing, and I'm not talking about this, by the way. This is, this is not healing. Well, I keep healing and healing and they're not changing. That is not a healed person. That's someone who's trying to game the mirror exercise and heal so that they change. No, you're still in your addiction, right? You're still trying to control and get them to change so that you feel better. You need to love yourself so deeply and so completely with this work that, that I follow, that I can help you with um, in my coaching, that, that you feel better. You just, you just feel better. And when you feel better, it's going to, it's going to be very clear, right? That this person is with you too, when you are in alignment with God and uh, walking with him. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, and if you'd like to do some coaching with me, I'm a master certified Ascension coach trained by Jeff and Shalia, and I'd love to accompany you on your path. Um, and I'm, I'm a good coach. I've, I know that I'm a good coach. I coach myself. Um, I have my own coach as well. And I really love um, helping people to heal these things, especially this topic. I'm really, really um, experienced in this topic, and I can really help you to break through um, this pattern that you're in. So love you very much, and I will talk to you very soon on my channel. See you like next time. Bye-bye.